Steamboat, Vail, Aspen, don't forget the little guys like Sunlight and Echo Mountain. Colorado has more than two dozen ski areas. But what do you know about the resorts that came before them? Dominic Garcia was able to spend some time with a couple exploring our state's lost and abandoned ski areas. If you know where to look, you can still find them today. It's the story beneath the story of Colorado skiing. Believe it or not, Colorado's crazy love affair with skiing started right here in Denver on Inspiration Point. This is where I figured the jump was. Karen and Peter Bodie have written two books on lost ski areas in Colorado, a project that took them a year and a half. Do you remember your reaction when you realized that there was a ski jump here in Denver? Yeah, I was shocked. I mean, how could you even have a, a place high enough for that? But in the early 1900s, a Norwegian by the name of Carl Halsen thought it was the perfect place for a ski jump, and in 1914 held an exhibition. Well, there were thousands and thousands of people that came, 20,000, in their uh, Model T's and Model A's and their, <laughs> their wagons. I think it kicked it off. And people fell in love with skiing. I wonder if any of these people have any idea their backyard used to be skiing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Karen and Peter went all over the state, tracking down and documenting Colorado's lost ski areas, over 130 of them. You'd go to the coffee shop or something and say, is there anybody that knows about the ski area at the edge of town? And they'd look at you like there was a ski area at the edge of town. <laughs> yeah. Just up I-70 a ways, if you look closely, you can make out the site of the 1920 National Ski Tournament of America. Now, I grew up in Colorado, but even I didn't know there used to be a ski area in Genesee just up I-70. In the 20s and 30s, this was the place to be. This used to be a ski jump, even held a national ski competition. The Bodies' travels took them to Georgetown, Estes Park, Tabernacle, Cheyenne Mountain, and would you believe there was a ski hill in Greeley? A lot of these were just, you know, little family-run operations. There are the long-forgotten, and then there are those that closed not too long ago. It was a sad day for a lot of people. Yeah. And I skied there. Berthet Ski Area shut down in 2001, but the runs are still there. People went there to be seen and to see people <laughs> and ski and... Uh, it was just a beloved area. And for some backcountry skiers, it still is. It's cool just knowing that you're, I don't know, taking free turns on a part of uh, Colorado history. And the Bodies want to keep that history alive. The Colorado ski industry has a bright future, but it's one that has humble beginnings. It was the working people, the immigrants who brought the ski culture to Colorado. It was the people who worked on the railroads and the loggers. They would work so hard and they just wanted to have a little fun. I'm Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First.